Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news read by Sachang Mir. Inspector General of Nagaland Police, Range, Limasanab Jamir, while saying that there were some incidences of violence yesterday, the overall polling was by and large peaceful and successfully completed. Addressing a press conference, the IGP said a few cases of minor skirmishes and heated exchanges between the supporters of the rival political parties were reported in Mokokchung, Woka, Mon, Zenipoto, and Temenyu districts. He said that a few major incidents that happened during the poll day are in Fodi Pandari Assembly constituency at Akuk village of Woka district in the vicinity of polling stations 1 and 4 located at GHS Akuk village. Stone pelting between supporters of political parties where was reported and also some gunshots were fired injuring three persons. He said, however, it could not be ascertained which side fired the shots. He said that CAPF personnel stationed in the polling station fired eight rounds in air and eventually the station was brought under control. In Mon under Monyakshu AC, there was a report of a stone pelting incident by unknown persons against the security personnel on duty causing minor injuries on two of them. He also said that Awatsakili village, polling station 2 under Adoize, Zinebodo district, there were three firing incidents during the day, but reinforcement of one section of CAPF and IRB and a special team of DEF Zinebodo personnel controlled the situation. He said involvement of underground cutters cannot be ruled out. The Congress has said that as the state of Nagaland concluded polling for elections to the 14th Legislative Assembly yesterday, it was a day filled with iniquitous incidents in the teeth of democracy. In a release, Congress leader in charge Nagaland, Ajoy Kumar and Nagaland Congress Communications Committee Chairperson Wizo De Creo said, in spite of the party's sound of alarm to the police officials and relevant authorities, the spate of poll-related violence in various pockets across the state is a matter of deep concern. Saying that exercising one's adult suffrage is an opportunity that comes once in five years' time, they said every citizen who is qualified to vote should be given equal opportunity to cast their vote. They also cited boot capturing particularly in places like 26 Aung Linden, Reports from 41 Desit that voters were not allowed to cast their vote while proxy voting was being indulged in. They said Congress party strongly reprimands such aspersion of the adult franchise and we strongly invoke the power vested in the Election Commission of India with respect to the Representation of People's Act 1951 to take cognizance of and remedify such gross misconduct on priority. In an unfortunate incident in Woka, a vehicle carrying Madhya Pradesh police, returning from Nagaland election duty, met with an accident near N. Longchamp, killing a constable on the spot and three others sustained injuries. Sources said the injured were evacuated for medical treatment while the mortal remains of the victim was taken back to Woka for further necessary formalities. Police sources also informed that on the day yesterday cash amounting to rupees 1.5 99 lakh was seized taking the total cash seizure during the model code of conduct period to 35.79 crore rupees. A massive fire broke out at commercial Mao Market near Petal Hospital in Kohima last evening. Several shops at Mao Market and some adjoining residential buildings were raised to ashes. The fire suspected to have started from below the Mao Market slowly became uncontrollable, thereby burning down the Mao Market and some adjoining commercial shops and private houses of Portland Colony. Fire personnel from different units were put on the service to doze off the inferno. Officer in charge fire station Kohima South, Sedevizo Hippo said fire broke out at around 5 p.m. and suspected to be a short circuit. He said since the market was at a close vicinity to their fire station, they tried to stop the fire as quickly as possible and applied foam technique. However, the fire became uncontrollable. He said loss of properties would be ascertained subsequently. He also said, fortunately, there were no loss of lives as the market was closed because of the election day. With that, we come to the end of morning news. Have a nice day.